ఓకే లెట్ మీ డిస్కస్ ప్రాబ్లం నెంబర్ వన్ పాయింట్ వన్ ఫోర్ వన్ అది ఇస్ బేసికలీ గుడ్ ప్రాబ్లం సో బిఫోర్ డిస్కసింగ్ ద ప్రాబ్లం లెట్ మీ మేక్ ద డయాగ్రామ్ అండ్ దెన్ విల్ డిస్కస్ వాట్ దిస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఈస్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ అండ్ దర్ ఇస్ ఎ త్రీ ఇట్ this point they are calling it as o and this thread has a mass a small m that is attached now over this mass below this mass there is a plank and this plank is kept on a horizontal surface this surface is a smooth it's given let me see and there is a force that is applied here the length of this cord is n not now let me read the question i think all of you copied this one so this says a horizontal plank supports a plank with a bar of mass m placed on it and attached by a light in light elastic non deformed cord of length l not so this cord is basically elastic so this cord is elastic so that is if this cord is going to follow f is equals to kx the coefficient of friction between bar and plank is mu so let us say friction between this and this you have and this friction coefficient is given by mu the plank is slowly shifted to the right until the bar starts sliding over it so this is basically shifted right slowly this means acceleration is zero this means net force external at any time will be zero because slow movement that is the acceleration is zero now the plank is slowly shifted to the right until the bar starts sliding over this a time comes initially it is here after some time this will be here and this will be here so you see a time comes when this block starts sliding over the plank and this comes when theta this angle is 30 degree so let me write when theta is equals to theta not the plank and block are sliding so block starts sliding block starts sliding are you getting so when this the case ball block starts sliding find the work that has been performed by the moment of the friction force during the friction force acting on the bar with reference frame to the plane so let us say we have to find work done by friction force with respect to ground and this friction force is between this plank and this bar are you getting what will happen so if you see i think all of you read on the top one so after some time you will have your plank will move some distance so let us say plank is now here and this block is here initially this system was here so this is the initial situation you will having somewhere here but now the plank has moved by some distance so let me have so let us attach this and in the middle this is angle theta so this is the point when the angle makes theta there is a force that is acting and in this there will be a tension because the cord is elastic in nature and there will be a friction force now this length is l not so this length will be l not by sec theta so l not no, l not by cos theta that is l not sec theta so this length is n not sec theta so what is the change in length of a string i can write here itself let us say change in length of a string change in length of cord this will be equals to let us say delta l this will be n not sec theta minus n not n not is the natural length n not sec theta is now the length so n not sec theta minus n not so this is the change in length so delta l will be l not sec theta minus 1 are you getting now if you see the equilibrium of this object 
if you see the plank first there is a force that is trying to pull this this side so there will be a friction force between this on the plank this friction force will act in this direction so on the plank friction force will act in this direction but newton's third law says on this subject friction force will act in this direction and our tension will have component so tension will have a component in this direction you getting that will be t cos theta because this angle is also theta so this will be t cos theta are you getting and there will be one force that is acting by this so there will be a normal reaction so there is another force that is normal reaction that is also acting on this block now this side will have t sin theta so i can make free body diagram of the block once again so what are the forces that is acting on the block block is here i think you are able to see this one there is a force that is <laughs> acting up t cos theta and there is a normal reaction that is acting and in this direction you will have t sin theta and in this direction you have friction force now this friction force is very important to consider here this friction force is a static in nature so this is a static you see we are pulling this block this side initially this are in contact again after some distance this is in contact the time comes when they loses the contact so this means that when the slipping ha happens at when theta is equals to theta not then only friction force will be kinetic in nature before that this friction force is just adjustable and limiting in nature that is a static initially less friction force you will have the cord length increases so you have to increase the friction force so friction force the f the small f that is not constant this variable because a static in nature and this is a variable force this is very very important in this case are you getting now if i write equation so this block is moving with acceleration a equals to 0 because this is slow movement so i can say f is equals to t sin theta in the x direction i can write this equation are you getting i can write in the vertical direction there is a force mg that will also act in the downward direction are you getting so we will have t cos theta plus n is equals to mg now you you have written this one now here we have very important concept what we need we need work done by friction force if i want to do friction force work done by friction force somebody can think f dot dx and if i integrate i will get the friction force but now friction force is not constant this is variable in nature we have already said now how many unknown we have we have friction force unknown tension unknown normal reaction unknown so friction is unknown tension in as i think you have written the top one so i can remove tension is unknown normal reaction is unknown and we have only two equation so you see here so there are only two equation we have so this equation and this equation i cannot solve for friction force tension and normal reaction all so it's impossible to integrate this equation i cannot find work done using this formula i have to use some indirect method and that will do energy conservation principle and that's why this problem is a good problem you cannot solve this by finding work done f dot dx in this case friction you cannot find at all so now you see if i solve these two equation at a special case a special case when theta is equals to theta not question says this just breaks off this just uh this slipping just uh, starts are you getting or not so at this point when theta is equals to theta not slipping just uh, starts so if slipping just uh, starts this means what if slipping is started this means i can now write friction force so in this case friction force will be now kinetic in nature so simple and kinetic friction force will always be given by mu times n so now i can use the two equation so first equation can be written as f is equals to t sin theta you check your copy are you getting or not so friction force can be written as mu n is equals to t sin theta 
and the second equation can be written as t cos theta plus n is equals to mz now i can solve for t so let us plug the value of uh, n so i will have if i multiply equation 2 by mu so we will have mu t cos theta plus mu n and mu n is t sin theta is equals to mu mg because i have multiplied by mu this equation from here i can write t is equals to mu mg divided by sin theta plus mu cos theta so this is the tension are you getting and our string is says this string is elastic in nature so tension and a string is given by k times delta l are you getting so a string is elastic so force is given by k into x because a string is elastic this i can write because a string is elastic are you getting and now the initially we have found what is the relations between delta l you check your copy so here you have delta l is given by l not sec theta in minus 1 this value l not sec theta minus 1 so you can write delta l will be l not sec theta and in this special case theta becomes theta not so let me write this is theta not everywhere so this is the limiting situation everywhere you will have theta not this is sec theta not minus 1 k into x are you getting or not so this is ah sorry there is no need to write k here so this is delta l i think are you able to see or not now force will be k into delta l and k is given by delta l is given by l not sec theta not minus 1 and this force is nothing but this is equals to tension t so from here you can find k are getting so k will be given as tension divided by l not sec theta not minus 1 and tension i have already found tension is you see here mu mg this value so let us plug the k so i will have k is equal to tension is mu mg divided by sin theta not plus mu cos theta not and this should be multiplied by tension uh, divided by l not sec theta minus 1 l not sec theta not minus 1 i think you are able to see this one now what should the work done perform now finding work done is easy you see on the upper block what are the forces that is acting one force is acting is tension another force that is acting is friction force now this block has been moved from acceleration zero so this is initial velocity is zero so final velocity will also be zero because v is equals to u plus at so initial velocity is zero final velocity is zero so change in kinetic energy is zero so work done by all the forces has to be zero so this means delta w should be equals to zero are you getting so now if we apply this you can write work done by friction force what are the forces that is acting what doing work friction force and this force that is a spring or a string work done by elastic string this should comes out to be zero are you getting so work done by elastic string this is Minus half k x square. Everybody knows. So work done by friction force minus half k delta l square. This should be equal to zero. So work done by friction force is simply half k into delta l whole square. So let us plug the value of k. You have already found k is given by in the last case. You see k is given by mu m z. You check your copy. divided by sin theta not plus mu cos theta not plus mu cos theta not into l not sec theta not minus 1 so this is into delta l whole square and delta l is nothing but n not whole square 
sec theta naught minus one whole square. So in not sec theta naught, this one term I can cancel out. So I will have mu m z l naught sec theta naught minus one divided by two sin theta naught plus mu cos theta naught. So this is the work done in this process. You see, what the important point in this question, this is a basically good question. In this question, one important point you have, that is the work done by the friction force, you cannot find simply by using f dot dx. Because friction force itself is unknown and it's even variable. So there are two things. If friction force is unknown as well as variable. If you increase the length of a string, then friction force increases. So friction force is a static in nature, it changes. So finding work done using f dot dx is impossible. So now what we will do is, another we will use indirect method. What is indirect method is, we will apply energy conservation. Or in the question it is given the block has been moved slowly, so this means acceleration is zero. So this means initial velocity is zero, final velocity is also zero. This velocity does not increase. I am so slowly moving that it takes infinite time. So velocity initially is zero and finally it almost remains zero. So this means change in kinetic energy is zero. So if I apply work energy theorem, that is that say change in kinetic energy equals to work done. So what are the forces that is acting or that is doing work over this block, upper block? Tension is one force that is doing work. Friction force is another force that is doing work. So these two forces add up to zero and work done by the tension that is elastic string is always minus half kx square. So I can find work done by the friction force. Once again one important part we have in this case work done is this. This is with respect to ground. So this is this work done is with respect to ground. If somebody asks what is the work done with respect to the plank itself. So let us say this is the plank. So if somebody asks, <coughs> what is the work done with respect to Planck, you see this is the initial situation and this is the final situation. So if somebody asks, what is the work done with respect to Planck, then you have to say, work done with respect to Planck is zero, because if somebody is sitting over this Planck, he will see this block has not moved at all. This block is here in the middle, finally it is also in the middle, so work done with respect to Planck, so with respect to Planck is work done is zero, so work done, I can write work done with respect to Planck this work done by friction force of course is zero so you can say work done depends upon frame so this is a good idea here I can introduce work done by forces work done depends upon depends upon frame that is the reference frame if I am saying frame this means now the uh, something different this is a reference frame so work done depends upon the reference frame now we will discuss the next problem this is a quite good problem uh, even you can revise this problem just before the examination this covers the concept of energy conservation. This covers the concept of force is equal to kx. This covers the concept of Newton's law, that is the vertical direction equation and tangential direction equation. It also covers the concept of a static friction force. This also covers the concept of work energy theorem. So there are large of con large number of concepts that is involved in this problem. So any time in the exam you can revise this problem. This is a good problem. We'll discuss the next problem.